Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Trains Are Fun. I like trains because trains are fun. And we got a really nice unboxing to do here. We're not going to be running any trains. We're just going to be showing you what's in these packages. But it's really on sad circumstances that this is happening. So if you don't know, I do a podcast that's Lego related with uh, Brick Trains and Mardi Gras Man 2 3 over on Brick Trains channel. So if you're into Lego, check that out. I also have a Lego channel, Bricks Are. <laughs> And sometimes people don't know that. I've, it, anyway, so Joey, uh, is the channel we do it is uh, Brick Trains, and he had the sad occurrence recently of his father passing away. So it's never easy. It's not natural, and it, uh, yeah, it's it's never good. And so he had him and his siblings had the task of helping out getting stuff and his father collected trains so I did a trade with Joey he offered a trade and I sent him some actual brick trains so they're Lego trains that I, I sent him check his channel out for that and again that's where we do the a full podcast and um, uh, he sent me this now I think uh, and these were from his father's collection so these will be things that um, it'll be special to me, uh, and yeah, so I'm going to show them to you in in this video. We're not going to run them. Uh, we're we're just going to unbox the, uh, the the shipping boxes these came in, and then think about how I might incorporate these into future videos. So I want to thank Joey for doing the trade. And it's not like I said, it's not the circumstances uh, that you would want to do that, and. In the end, these are just things. People are more important than things. All right, so the first thing is this. Now, this is an LGB box. It says, oh, it's the Jack Daniels box car. Now, I might not even take some of these out of the box. Let's see here. It's got an outer sleeve. Uh, you know what? I may take some of them out of the box anyway. Oh yeah. I don't know how to open this. I'm going to break it. I am brick czar, brake czar. So I don't know why I like collecting alcoholic beverage cars, but this is the Jack Daniel whiskey box car. I think that'll look good with Thomas pulling it. What do you think? Or maybe James. <laughs> uh, so we got that. Why did I take this out of the box? Oh, it's got a certificate of authenticity there. Oh, I don't want to break this. Uh, <laughs> oh, what have I done? Oh, yeah, it does have the window there where you can see it. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. Uh, so that's a Jack Daniels Whiskey limited edition G scale car. And I collect just about all the scales. You know, the only thing I don't have well, I should take it back. There's, there's more than one scale that I don't have in my collection. The, the main one I was thinking of is, is S scale. I don't have S scale, anything S scale. And because they don't make anything Thomas and Friends, S scale. But I have HO scale, which is my favorite. I have M scale, O scale, and G scale. So this, that was large or um, large scale or G scale garden railway, what a lot of people call it. And I also don't have any Z scale, but uh, those are so Z scale and S scale are kind of uh, things that are, yeah, this is very niche as far as um, trains go. All right, next one. Now, this I thought this one would be very interesting. Maybe the first one that I actually do a video on <clears throat> running, I should say. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Oh, I know why it's heavy, because uh, it has the transformer. So some of the, the newer Lionel stuff uh, uses the Bluetooth. I think this is an older one, but it's the uh, Lone Ranger, and it's the TV show Lone Ranger, not the Johnny Depp movie. When I say Johnny Depp movie, he played Tonto in the movie. I can't even remember the actor who played the Lone Ranger. <laughs> 
Uh, but this is uh, the Lone Ranger train. It has the general style locomotive uh, from the Lone Ranger, which I like. Um, I would like to one day get the uh, O-scale version of the General in the Texas. Um, just because I like that Buster Keaton movie, The General. I don't care about Civil War history, but the Buster Keaton movie, The, the General, is uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, this, this has train sounds. Interesting. I wonder if it does the uh, William Tell Overture, which was uh, a variation of that was the uh, theme song for the Lone Ranger TV show. So it does have some play features uh, with Lone Ranger and some bandit on a cattle car. So uh, we'll we'll do a separate video uh, featuring this. Again, it's a bigger. This is a this here the Jack Daniel. This is G scale. This is O scale. And the next one that we got from Brick Trains is also an O scale. And this is probably, of all the specialty pop culture things, <coughs> excuse me, that are out there, this is one of those that I've always wanted. I did uh, film it in a video before, but it wasn't my personal copy. We went to Train World. And I got to see it in action there, but it was just like one of those things that's way out of my price range. <laughs> and um, let me show it to you. We have, ah, uh, yes. Uh, if I can get this out. The Coors Silver Bullet Train. <laughs> and. The add-on car for it. I think that it makes it a complete set. Um, let me get all this stuff out of the way here. Yeah, there we go. Got to break all this stuff down. Joey packed it well. All right. So again, I'll do a separate video of this uh, and upside down <laughs> but yeah this is from the uh, commercial you ever see the Coors Light commercial so Coors back in the day Coors and I think uh, Miller Light had some of the best uh, beer commercials and I don't guess they can do those fun <laughs> commercials anymore because I think there is a perception of all these young people and enjoying the good life <laughs> It's almost like they were marketing to teenagers uh, with some of these ads. But uh, the Coors Silver Bullet O-Scale Train, this is definitely um, one of my all-time wanted list items. There's a picture of it on the side. It actually has functioning cars that the door is open. Uh, I think you got to put smoke, put smoke in these things. I think there's a, a kit because not only do the, um, you know, like normally you think of smoke like a steam locomotive and it's got the authentic looking smoke coming out of it. this i think the yeah the smoke not only comes out of the engine comes out like where one of the the refrigerated cars is uh, when you open it so yeah i gotta get something uh, set up i don't want to run this on the table i mean i can run some o-scale stuff on this table but something like this i think i'd rather have it on the floor where it's not likely to fall <laughs> as so many other things have on this channel but yeah the coors silver bullet train packed up like it's a 48 pack of beer that's pretty awesome and then the one accessory cart so those are some things that i traded uh, brick trains for and again um, condolences to the brick trains family uh, for uh, the loss of a loved one and yeah just thank you uh, for watching this video I got some trains that we'll be able to do some videos. And shout out to Joey for yeah giving me some motivation to actually make a video. <laughs> I I don't know what it, I was talking about this on uh, one of my members' videos over there on Briggs R. It's just I, I sorry to you that have uh, been longtime viewers of Trains Are Fun. I've just not a couple of factors. I've not had the time to make a lot of videos, and I've not had the motivation to make videos, even though I know this is like my best channel. And so I, yeah, I wanna, I wanna uh, get back to making more 
uh, regular videos and you know maybe not every day but just you know every week give you something to watch that hopefully is funny or fun or in uh, either entertaining or educational <laughs> those things and um yeah, I wonder if Thomas can pull the Coors Light train. That's another thing I should try out. I like doing things that are inappropriate. Well, I guess it's not really. I don't, I don't like, uh, that, that didn't sound right. <laughs> so the thing is, like, if, if I had Thomas pulling this, I'm like, would, would, would um, Mattel come after me? Saying that that's not appropriate for children. But these are adult toys, so I can do what I want to with them. But, yeah, I don't want to give the wrong impression. All right, so I'm going to put these over there. I'll be back again with another video soon, and thank you for watching. And uh, I can't do the William Tell Overture.